so you want to learn more about level two. People keep asking me, how do I read level two? What is the secret to level two? Well, I'm going to try to explain it in this video, so stay tuned. So you want to learn more about day trading, you want to learn more about level two in this video. Well, I need you to subscribe to the channel, like this video and leave a comment. Help me help you. So I'm going to talk to you about level two in this video. We're going to take a look at AEZS. You can see right now I got my screen a little different than normal. I got it pulled up. Here's my montage. Here's my time and sales. Here's the one minute chart. Now I'm going to give you an idea of what I'm looking at, how I'm reading level two and what is going on here and how you can benefit from learning more about level two and learning about price action candles and all that fun stuff we're gonna talk about it let me just break it down very simple here to get an idea this area right here this is my montage right here on this side montage is where i buy and sell down here but up here this is level two level two is basically showing me what orders are out there people have orders to buy here at 297 people have orders to sell at 298 i can see how many sellers there are i can see how many buyers there are one thing you need to remember is it's possible for people to hide their size. We'll talk about that later, what hidden buyers, what hidden sellers are. So over here on the left side of this montage is the bid. Over here on the right side is the ask. Looking at the time and sales, this is time and sales here on this little thing. It's showing me the exact price that everything is being sold. Each transaction showing me the price. If it's showing green, that means that it's buying higher than the bid. If it's showing red, it means that it's selling into the bid. If it's showing white, it means it's selling in between the bids. So if the bid's 297 and the ask is 298 and somebody buys a 297.50, there you see. So right there, 297.89, right now it's selling higher than the ask. Now it's selling into the bid. So 296 popping up there and you can see the buyers there at 296. So what I'm watching here, looking at the chart, I'm looking at time and sales, I'm looking at level two. I wanna see if I was going to enter right here, if I'm going to enter here, 294 support area, I'm going to see if that 294 area is going to be supported. Right now, I see there's a lot of buyers there at 295. So you can see over here on the bid, it's showing buyers. These are all different exchanges, basically. Over here on the left, showing me the NASDAQ, showing me different exchanges. Edge X is a large exchange, usually used a lot. And it's also showing on the right side here, who's selling, what exchanges have a lot of sell orders, etc. So right now, it's showing that there's support there at 295. We're gonna see if this 295 area is going to hold. We had a little drop earlier here to 294. 294 is trying to hold right there, back up to 295. It's bouncing right there. So zooming in here, getting a better idea, looking at the chart. We're holding that 294 area. Got buyers stepping up there. We got a lot of sellers here at 297 trying to hold it down. So we'll see if they can hold it down here, if the buyers can beat the sellers. And right now, looks like we're getting more buying going on. We're going higher, watching the chart here. We're watching level two, we got a couple, 298's printing there, 297's printing between the bid. Big seller, look at this right here. Big seller stepping up there at 298 now. Got a big seller at 298, that's not a good sign. Not a lot of buyers, so expecting this to be a little bit of a drop here. See if we get a drop back down in the 294 area. Watching the time and sales, 298 is printing, that's a good sign. Well, there we go, so now we're selling. There's a big buy there at 298. And there, there's the drop I was talking about. Had that big seller, the seller scared away the buyers, the buyers drop down, the buyers are like, I'm gonna wait and see if it's gonna pull back some more. And that's what's happening here. So remember, this is all about supply and demand. It depends on what, how many people are selling, how many people are buying. It's, you know, every transaction, there's somebody buying or somebody selling. It's not just somebody's selling. So there has to be a seller for a buyer to buy. And that's what we're looking at right now. This big seller here at 298. Is it a real seller? Is it someone just trying to crash the stock? Is it a big short sitting there trying to hold it down? A lot of pressure there at 298 and it's holding it down right now. You can see 298 kind of double top there on the one minute chart. Got this trend that's moving down now. We're holding this 294 area. We're gonna see if we can hold that 294 area. We gotta get through that 298 area. So we're watching that 298 area to see if that seller can get eaten out there. We're getting some selling. We're in between the bid there. And there we get some more selling there. See all those sell orders selling into the bid there at 296. But then we got buyers stepping up there at 295. So it's holding support, 295, 296 area. It's holding there. Got a couple of sellers sitting there, but more buyers right now than sellers. It really depends on what's gonna happen here at 298 area. If 298 can get eaten out, we're gonna get that move back above three dollars here. It looks like 298 is getting eaten out. See a lot of 298s printing there, 298 printing, 297.5. So we're right there. We're sitting on the cusp, but just getting more volume here to get through the 298 area. If it gets through that 298 area, you're gonna expect that move back up to that $3 area. We got more 298s printing there, 298 printing. There we go. So above 298, like I said, got eaten out there. It went higher, and there it goes up to 303. So beautiful move, like I said through that 298 area. Once that 298 seller got eaten out, he backed out, 
and now it's moving higher up to that 303 area nice little squeeze there so a balance off the 294 support nice support bounce there off 294 might get a move higher here looking at the five minute chart to get a better idea you can see that 294 area holding strong there we're getting back up to that moving average area needs to get back up above that 308 area to really prove that it's moving higher and then got this double top there at the 314 area one of the things that you always need to keep in mind is when you're watching level two say there's a lot of sellers over here there's a lot of sellers that are sitting there nothing's really happening it's not getting sold into you got a lot of buyers here at 303 and it's nothing happening it's not printing you want to see time and sales printing time and sales is important you want to be able to keep an eye on time and sales and level two at the same time because what people can do is they can actually flash sell orders there they can flash a big order there that they don't really want to sell they just want to try to scare the stock down and they'll flash a big order there trying to scare people down and that's what will happen if you don't actually see it's getting sold into you don't see it, it could just be a short trying to scare people away you always got to be thinking about that people it's a chess game really with level two. big short sellers that are trying to crash the stock are trying to scare people away they're flashing big orders but really they don't want to sell or they're just trying to scare people away, trying to scare the buyers away. But this gives you an understanding of level two, how to read it, what you're looking at here, looking at the buyers, the sellers, and trying to figure out which way the stock's going to go, give you an idea of where the support is, where the resistance is. If you see a big seller jumping up there on level two, it's usually a bad sign. Obviously, like a stock like this gets up to that 314 area, and then you see a huge seller there at 314 again, it's a bad sign. You might want to sell, take profit if it can't get eaten out there. Keep an eye on level two, learn more every single day about level two, time of sales. You'll see patterns, you'll see things that are going on with these stocks that happens over and over again. So remember, it's a chess game sometimes. You have to keep playing, you gotta stick to your plan, cut your losses, take your profit when you got it, and be ready to play the next day.